y'all are tuned in to be an mg i cannot talk y'all it's the day after labor day and i'm still feeling it y'all are tuned in to bmmg radio right here on power 1099 we have a few guests in the house tonight so after this song by big rizzle we'll be right back with a nice interview bmmg radio i'm your host tiffany j on this lovely day i hope everyone enjoyed their memorial day weekend bash whatever y'all did um we are back with the interview, and I want to start today's show off with a special guest, Mr. Devon. How are you today? I'm Rick right. Burger. <laughs> <laughs> now, Devon, you have your hands in the upcoming Boosie concert, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. How did that come about? If you don't mind talking about it. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't just know always connect. I just I always thought um, <laughs> Boosie would do well here, and a couple of people, you know, said they wanted to do it, and well, it didn't materialize at first. So. I found a couple of people to go in with me and we just made it happen. Okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. Now, I'm pretty sure you're a big Boosie fan. Yeah, myself, yeah, okay. yeah. Do you find um, like a big difference with his music now compared to like before, say before he went to jail? I mean, you can tell the maturity in his music. You okay. know what I mean? I think prison has changed anybody. Right. You know, right. They do that type of time that he done. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. I think that'll change anybody. But he just, he's just more mature, you know what I mean? Right. You know, that's all. Do you think that kind of changed his, his fan following though, now that he's like maturing a little bit? Because you know how it's like you start talking or rapping about different things that is on a more mature level, you might lose a lot of, you know, that younger fan base. No, because I mean, he still got, he, he. I mean, I, I know I'm kind of a little personally, so you know, it's like he is who he is. Right. I mean, he still got some of the same music, but he got different music now, so I think he's just trying to reach out to a broader audience and trying to, you know, just showing his growth. Anything that doesn't grow, mm -hmm. you know, it, it dies. Right. So, you know, I think he's just showing the maturity. I don't think he, if anything, going to gain fans, I think. I think. Okay, so you would say, would you say that he's gotten soft? No. No. No, I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. No. I, mean, I mean, because some people will say, oh, you know, you went to jail now that you came out rapping soft. It, it, how can how can you be hard all the time? I think Kevin Gates said that. You know what I mean? Like, you you again, you got to grow. You know what I mean? Like, at some point in your life, everybody's life, you got to grow. I don't care who you is, what you do in the life. I mean, what you 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 want to be a manager forever? You want to be an owner? Right. Or you you want to? You know what I mean? Like, you got to grow. I mean, even, even cars, you grow out of that car. You know what right, I mean? Like, right. you just grow out of things. You know what right. I mean? That's just how it works. Okay. All right, all right. Let me go to um, another note. Now, you know, I be on and off of Facebook, you know, yeah. all in people business and beefs and all that. Let's talk about these Boosie tickets, because it's starting a, a little bit of beef um, on these Boosie tickets. I don't have no beef with anybody. Okay. So, I don't know. And I hope ain't nobody got no beef with me, because everybody got my number. People know how to get in touch with me. You know what I mean? I, I know where you're going with it. You know what I mean? And, 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 and. But what is it, though? I mean, what is what? I think I guess what I'm saying is, what caused the beef? What what was the beef about the tickets in the first place? I don't, it was when we, when we first announced it. You know, people it just was all this speculation on prices before we even made prices. People, all oh, the 300, all the tickets are 150, all the tickets are this, all they that, and it, that just wasn't the case. Okay. You know, the numbers that they were shooting out there wasn't realistic. But you know, we got a meet creep package that's like 300. dollars So okay. it's like people who can't afford that, okay. it's not for you. You right. know what I mean? Right. So it's like, you know. I don't know, but a beef though, no. Now I did see something where um, someone was posting to buy tickets from them, and that was like a fake page or something, rather than going through the proper channel, which was through Ticketmaster. Yeah, I mean, right. Some guy, I think it was, he made a Facebook page and Instagram. He got all types of pages, Robert Rice or something like that, yeah, or whatever. Exactly. Was saying. Have to be more careful. But it, it, you, you got to be a fool to go to. Walmart or CVS and put money on somebody's green dot car. We okay. Never seen. I mean, that's, you just a fool. You know what right. I mean? So they go for that. That's on them. Okay. Let's talk about um, the posting with uh, shooting and things like that. And I'm shooting going. Shooting video. Yeah. Uh, the one guy in my feet. I told y'all no. I don't want to talk about shooting my video. Like, like, Juan Gotti's an airhead. I mean, it's, he he is what he is, and you know Mike. You know he. Uh, he, he reached out to me, and, and the manner in which he reached out to me was like, okay, well, uh, yeah, you see you passed my flowers, niggas, I need to holler at who's really making the show happen. I'm like, I'm making the show happen. Right. 
He like, well, yeah, I need to get on the show. And I told him what it was per slot. So he like, oh, no, I don't pay to get on shows. I do shows and all across the country, da, 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 da. I'm going to call TQ, and TQ going to get me on the show. I said, okay, well, how TQ call me? TQ is Boosie manager. Okay. I said, cool, you know, have him call me. So a few weeks pass, and, you know, nobody called me, he hit me up, like, oh, did he call you? I said, no. Mm -hmm. You know, well, you need to call him. I said, no, nah, I'm not going to call the man. You right, know, he, right. he wants you on the show. He'll call and get you on the show. When I exactly. want something from Walmart, I go to Walmart and I get it. Walmart don't bring it to me. Right. You know what I mean? So, oh, you a hater, blah, blah. You don't want to see me shine and this, this, that, and this. Like, man, man, how the man call me? So, you know, that took his course. The next thing I know, um, you know, he made his little things or whatever, posts or whatnot. Even, actually, I just got a screenshot today where he, Says some stuff on Twitter. I saw that. I mean? Yeah, but yep. it's funny how I got it deleted off Instagram, Twitter, and <laughs> his Facebook, and now you back making all these posts. But you know, inbox don't lie. You know what I mean? Me and the man talk, and it is what it is. You right. know what I mean? Right. You want something for nothing, and I don't owe you anything. We don't have a relationship. You know what I mean? I do business based on relationships. You know what I mean? Like right. it's people who are on the show for free. I mean, right. that's cut and dry. Right. But I have a business relationship with them. We do business together. Right. You know what I mean? So. That's With you saying that, let me touch base on that right quick. Um, community and support. Now I'm going to go back to the situation you were just talking about. And it, you see that a lot in the industry. And I'm just going to talk locally for a second. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like so much hate with artists. And everybody's trying to get to that plateau. Everybody's trying to get to that higher, higher position or whatever. Why do you think it's so much hate on the next man that's trying to make it just like this person is and the lack of support you want the guys on the street? I want you already know I'm a 100 type of person well, well for, for, for me and what I see I think first it start with you and the people around you because if you trash people around you need to tell you trash exactly. they be blowing these dudes heads up like they like they that dude and they're not for right. one so then soon somebody say they look you're not that dude it's mm -hmm. you're hating right no I'm not hating the people around you should have told you the truth okay you know what I mean and start there because a lot of these cats is garbage I mean okay. they're you know they they come there want you to buy their CD and then you listen to it it's, it ain't been mix, mix and master you can't tell the vocals Thanks. from the bass I mean like come on man. Like, you saw the post that I put yeah, up yeah, you just write your, that's not mix and master yeah, correctly yeah no, you can't write your name on there with a pen <laughs> right. that stuff you know what I mean like it's just <laughs> Can't tell you got the magic the marker name on it. Right. If you want to put no money into yourself, why would anybody put money into right. you? You know what I mean? At least right. put money into your music and let your music speak for itself. You can't, you know, it just was kitchen beats and stuff. I don't know. It's good. <laughs> you know, it's just, <laughs> no, for real. Well, I mean, kitchen beats. So what's up with the fat post I seen you post the other day? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Oh, oh, what no, 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 I just don't know. Cause no, cause they was going in on fat people, and I I like got a complex about people. Cause I'm fat for one, but mm. I got a complex about people. Don't pe say you're fat. Just say I eat good. No, I'm don't not eating good either. But <laughs> I I don't like that. You know what I mean? Right, and then right. plus, you know, it, it's a lot deeper with me because a lot of people don't know I'm going through this um, thing right now. I'm trying to start this childhood obesity awareness thing. Oh, that's and, what's um, up. You know, that's cause what's a, up. a lot of people don't understand that you know black people, majority of us are overweight. And that contributes to heart disease and okay. cancer and, you know, things of that nature. It starts, you know, at, at, at a, as a child. A lot of children are, like, overweight, you know what I mean? Very, like, extremely overweight. I think it's, like, 37% or something like that, you know what I mean? And I'm, you know, building that. And so I'm a little touchy on that okay. situation. You know? And that's cool. I, I, I mean... It, 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 it affects the longevity of our race, yeah. you know, our health. And a lot of us, yeah. you know, yeah. don't take yeah. care of it properly or teach our... Right kids to eat properly they know they want to keep stuffing them with noodles right. and you know things like that right and i think especially when it's like family members that you have that are overweight you know i think more family needs to pitch in too as far as helping that person right that's why the girl went in on me like that because her because you know she made the post about oh fat people just so disgusting when i see them it make me sick blah, blah, blah. but you know i know you personally and wow. your mom is like three of me so like see? What is you doing? You know, you, you hate your, your mama. Or help your mama. Right. She's like, clearly I'm not talking about my mama. But you said all fat people. Right. So. Exactly. Right. So she uh -huh. fits that category. Not calling your mama fat, but I'm just saying. Her mama's fat. Okay. <laughs> we keep it one honey. <laughs> we keep it one honey. Mama's fat. She's fat. You know what? She's wrong with you. No, she can't. So all right. So I don't know what she will watch that. <laughs> Oh, come on. So let's talk about this okay. Booster Concert. When is this Booster Concert coming up? Oh, June 6th. June okay. 6th. 
Okay. And see gave some. All right. Do I got? A, I mean, you on the show? I know I got a free ticket, right? Yeah, I got, I got that. I got that for y'all. Right. right. See, that's well, what yeah, that's what I'm talking about, about right? Sure. Yeah. I ain't come empty-handed, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna go get y'all CD for the star storming. I'm gonna go get y'all some of the boosie CDs for the star storming. I ain't got to do anything. So you're making excuses. That ain't excuses. No excuses. You making excuses. I like to be on time too. You know, I know that's right. I hear that. Frank, right. Uh, I'm I hear just that. saying, Frank. I'm just saying. Right. right. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through the show today. No talk. And I really do appreciate that. Um, we're gonna go into this real deal. Can you feel it? We'll be right back with BMG Radio.